Wednesday Women's Bantamweight Championship fight between Amanda Nunes and Maureen Bernal. All right, here's the number one women's bantamweight contender. She believes for a while she's been the best at 135 pounds. She's making the walk tonight, staring down the champion. Confidence, not an issue. Fear, not a factor. We'll see if this talented number one contender can shed that label and leave with a new one as the UFC women's bantamweight champion. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunted for a reason and is looking to prove that she is still the best in the world at 135. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeVay. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Hard round for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of nine wins, seven losses, and one ball. Weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Visalia, California, presenting the challenger, Mabalesian Bruiser no. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 21 wins, four losses. She stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda the Lioness UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, man, we are underway. Bank Arena, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the T.O. baby. Nothing quite like calling fights in front of these live fights. One time I almost defended my belt in the six against Anthony Johnson. I was injured, wasn't able to compete, but Max Holloway once again showed what a champion he is by defeating Anthony Pettis in his great arena. Renault's got the clinch here. Oh. Nice loop and punch. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands amongst the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. And they are exchanging leather early. 
Renault gets in the clinch yet again. Nice job defensively by Renault. Back to the feet now. Nice punch there by Nunes. She's looking to land that right punch just out of range. Well, it's not considered a power shot or even a significant strike, but that jab looked pretty significant to me. When you land that jab like she does, it is a significant strike to hell when anybody else says. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? And there comes the separation now. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Big kick lands. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Amanda Nunes. All right, so she attempts the takedown here. Decent entry, but unable to get the fight to the ground. She's having a difficult time securing the hips. Why not go upper body, try to engage in the clinch, try to mix it up if you're going to get these takedowns. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. What a body kick. There you go. There you go. Renault's in half guard. And this is where she's good. Once she's on top is where she's a beast. Renault's looking for an arm bar here. Got to be careful, arm bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Nicely done. With conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it here. She does a really good job of throwing punches with intent. She never just throws just to be throwing. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. Oh, watch Guillotine here. Watch Guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, how good is that as a guillotine counter? She gains the side mount here. And I hope Ovin St. Pru is watching. She might be able to get a Von Flu. She can't hold it down. grappling right there and nice finishing instincts as well you see a lot of fighters get the dominant position but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap no problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her ufc career all right so there's the end of the round and in terms of offensive wrestling execution she had it all going there yeah she had it all working she did everything she wanted to do she was racing to position once she got to a leg she didn't pause she didn't stop she went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. So there she is as the celebration continues in the corner. The queen of the 135ers, the UFC women's bantamweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. What a way to get the job done and leave with the UFC goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 41 seconds of the very first round, 
for the winner by submission. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda the Lioness Well, not unlike the great Israel Adesanya, she doesn't hope and pray. She aims and fires, <laughs> and she is still the UFC women's bantamweight champ. What a great champion that rules atop this division. She's the queen the queen of the world in one of the UFC's best women's divisions.